When a cavity goes deep into your tooth, it's not only inside of the tooth enamel, it's not in the dentin, but now it's in the nerve of the tooth. So you can't fix it with a filling anymore. You need a root canal to save the tooth. So let's watch the process of repairing and saving a damaged or infected tooth with a root canal. Hi, my name is Whitney. If you're new here, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. Today we're going to watch a root canal procedure at the dentist. And before we get started, make sure to get my free oral care guide. Click the link in the description below or in the pinned comment to discover all of the essential components for an effective oral hygiene routine at home to help maintain a healthy smile by preventing cavities, tooth infections, and things that lead to needing a root canal. And having said that, let's walk through a root canal appointment. First, they will place a dental dam around the tooth to isolate the area. Then they may place a caulking material, it seals around the tooth. Then the dentist will first remove the decay. You could see that they're drilling the tooth just like they would during a routine filling procedure when a cavity is being removed. Next, they may use an explorer to check the area and to make sure the nerve is ready for root canal therapy. If it's ready, then it's time for the RC prep and the files. The RC prep helps lubricate the canal so the hand files can go down into the canal. What is happening is that the files are helping clean out and open up the canal. So depending on the technique that the dentist uses, they may use a bunch of different sized files. The goal of this part is that they are trying to get into the tip of the canal so they can have a working path to the apex which is the end of the root tip. Sometimes they will also use an apex locator machine that it attaches to it. You'll normally hear a beeping sound during this part. And it helps the dentist locate the apex. Again, the apex, AKA the tip of the root. Rotary files might also be used. They are different from the hand files because they are used with a power driven instrument. Next, the hypochlorite is used. This is the cleaning solution that cleans and lubricates the area. And ultrasonic also might be used to get straight line access down to the root tip so that the files won't bind. Once they have straight line access, they have confirmation of the depth. An x-ray may be taken now to document that. Back to the rotary files and the hypo solution. This might be a pattern for a little bit. They will be reconfirming the length with the files. So that pattern, rotary files, cleaning solution, rotary files, cleaning solution, that might happen a few more times. Next up is the ultrasonic streaming agitator. This helps get the solution to go further and deeper. It's kind of like stirring up sugar and coffee so it can get into all the little crevices. Next, they may use the hypochlorite again. Then they might start using a liquid now. That's called EDTA and it opens up the pores inside of the canal, the little channels that get blocked up from when they were filing. There's bacteria, the nerve and stuff. So they need to open up those now and clean them out. Once they are opened up, they cleanse it out and they clean inside the little channels even more. Now there's a pattern of agitating and cleansing. Next, they will use a paper point to dry everything up, sometimes multiple paper points. So basically they just disinfected everything in there and now they are drying it all up to get everything out of there. Then it's finally time to fill it up and seal it up. Gutta percha is a rubber-like material that fills the canal. Here you can see the gutta percha dipping into the sealer. The gutta percha has been placed in there now and now they are using a down packer to condense the gutta percha so it's making sure it fills the space. The condenser might help pack it in, then the backfill, and now condensing the backfill. And once they are done filing inside of the tooth roots, they will remove the clamp and the dental dam and all the stuff in the patient's mouth. They'll probably take another x-ray to make sure it's all built up. Some root canals will need two appointments to finish and some will only need one. Afterwards, your tooth will be restored with a permanent filling or a permanent crown, but until then, you'll probably have a temporary filling. And that's it. Root canal appointments are not that bad. Once you're numb, you don't feel a thing. If anything, most patients just say they are bored because they're just laying there hanging out. But still, even though root canal appointments are relatively easy, they are expensive. And also, you know, after the root canal, you also have to pay for a crown or in some cases a filling if it's a front tooth, but whatever it is, it adds up. So to avoid all that and to save money, make sure to click the link in the description or in the pinned comment below to sign up for my free oral care guide. Keeping up with your daily dental routine at home really does make a difference in prevention. And I hope this video helped you. Please like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications if it did. And if you want even more dental tips, you can hang out with me on Instagram at Teeth Talk Girl. Peace, love, and teeth.